What is going on guys, it's Walfa here and welcome back to some more Journey to the Savage Planet. Now last time we left off we got pooped out by Teratoma after we got eaten and then we went back to the Javelin to go deposit that planet seed that we got a few episodes ago. And then after that I ended up exploring a bunch of this area over here, the itching fields that I completely skipped out on for the for basically the entire series and we ended up finding a bunch of alien alloy and orange goo here and by the end of the episode we actually gathered all of them that I needed so we actually finished up the metallurgist mission as well as the uh, like alien goo or whatever that other mission was for the orange goo so that's pretty cool but we're not done yet we still have to survey the planet we need to get nine percent more and I assume a lot of it's going to be here in the uh, itching fields that I need to scan right so I'm going to keep my eyes peeled here and I'll let you guys know what if I find anything there as well as over here we have alien cinema we need to locate and scan all the alien tablets we currently have half of them and thankfully it tells us down there uh, our progress so we have them all on the landing side there's only one there and then we have to get one more here in the itching fields two more in the elevated realm and then two more in the within the spire over there where Teratomo is so I guess once we gather all those alien tablets we could actually form like a full story with all those little video clips from them huh so that'd be pretty cool as well as over here speaking of story we still need to find the last three notes for Terra Tomo's explore logs and maybe by then we'll actually find out how he ended up as that like boss that ended up eating us like covered in like boils and stuff like that it was disgusting but we only need to find one more in the elevator realm and then there's two of them in the spire that I completely missed out on so I wonder if they're hidden inside of those little pods because that's where we found the uh alien tablet there we found one of them there so still need to find two more there so I'm sure a bunch of them are hidden in those alien pods huh but anyways, real quick, I have some extra footage that I cut out of last episode's recording session where I ended up reading one of those explorer logs. I even watched a few various videos that were on the computer that I skipped out on. So I ended up cutting out a last episode. Otherwise, it would have been like an hour long episode. So let me show it here real quick. And then after that, I'll show you guys some clips of me finding like random trees and stuff that I haven't scanned as well as explorer notes I haven't found and alien tablets I haven't found. And by the end of that, I guess we'll get 100% on the game and then we can finally return home. And I'm curious what's going to happen then. And I know a lot. A lot of you guys are curious too so we're going to find out this episode this is going to be the last episode of the series and then we'll have a little mini series where i play the hot garbage dlc but for right now let me show you guys that extra footage i talked about and i'll see you guys here in just a bit oh yeah don't we have an alien uh yeah alien transmission number four let's watch three first and then we watch four see how look at all the all the critters there is this alluding to the like gene like lockup that they have in top of the tower or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, I just showed all the different critters. Now they're inside those little pods, and I assume five through nine is going to describe it being at the top of the tower or whatever, and then expedition log number five. Uh, Rangor Teratomo, once again, let's see what he has to say here. Teratomo here, still climbing. I can't help but wonder where the smart guy aliens who built this thing went. I mean, they must have left at some point because I'd have seen them by now. So where did they all go? Was there some kind of mass exodus? And if so, why did they all leave in such a hurry? Actually, worse thought occurs. Did something kill them all off? Is that thing still here? Ugh, I really don't need this kind of anxiety right now. My stomach is already tearing itself apart here. Not to be too graphic, but I've already had the squirts nonstop for the last five hours. <laughs> that was probably too graphic, you're right. Anyways, uh, it shouldn't be long before I reach the top of the tower. I'll check back in then. Terra Tomo, out. Yeah, at the top of the tower where you become the egg and meatball guy, right? <laughs> All right, and then of course we got videos and messages and blah 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 blah. Add a puppet, tweed refuel. We'll, we'll see what he has to say about me getting the ship refueled. It's finally happened. You did it. Our automated measurements have transmitted the vital information that you have successfully refueled your javelin and could, at any moment, be launching yourself back to Earth. Imagine the delight on the faces of your children and partner, or partners, or parents, or pet, or whatever may be waiting for you. <laughs> Especially if you've accomplished all of your various tasks. Remember that your bonus and pension are only available if you've completed all of your contractually obligated objectives. Oh, that looks pretty good. Kindred Aerospace. Yeah, he's basically just giving me a pep talk to continue doing these second missions, getting all the orange goo and the alien alloys and scanning everything on the planet, which I still haven't done somehow. So uh, I guess that's what we're going to be doing for these next few episodes, huh? 
mini mall tweed celebration. Is this wait, which one's this one? Let's see what he has to say for the celebration. Kendred Aerospace. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> what is he doing? Across the known universe, we have tens, perhaps hundreds of tens of explorers <laughs> turning over rocks, documenting the local fauna, and uploading vast amounts of data for the Kindred Science Team. That's what I'm talking about. Death per year? We assume a failure and or death rate of 15% across our various endeavors. So the fact that you're alive and receiving this message brings a warm glow to the hearts of the entire Kindred team. Bingo! We've got a winner. We would also like to take a moment to highlight Puff Puff Pasta 79. Not only has he stayed alive, but he's contracted this. <laughs> wow. Now, it may look painful, but this could hold the secret to curing some illnesses which continue to haunt our species, such as herpes simplex or rogue limb. Rogue so, limb. Good luck to you, Puff Puff Pasta 79. <laughs> But enough chit chat. Our analysis of which planets offer the best potential future home for humanity continues. And we have you to thank for it. Keep exploring. Oh, I caught that kiss. Did you guys catch that kiss too? <laughs> Kindred Aerospace. Yeah, so he's congratulating us on those uh, science experiments, right? Brain wipes? Tweed mystery. Wait, didn't he? Wouldn't, I feel like we already watched that, right? Like he's talking about the meatball at the bottom of the tower or something like that. See what the brain wipes ad is. Uh, thoughts? Oh gosh! Ill feelings? Wipe them. Tragic memories? Wipe them. Wipe them all away with brain wipes disposable neural restimulation membrane. Just oh. insert into one orifice and oh. the other. Do let our nano IntelliWeave fibers do the rest. I'm disgusted. Soothes great for dry brains or stressful gatherings. This sucks. Oh. Brain wipes intelligently navigates the interior sectors of your brain, removing any thoughts of malcontent, putting you back on the track to a positive outlook. Wipe away your worries with Brain Wipes Emotional Disinfectant Smart Tissues. Available in Happy, Apathetic, and Sociopath. <laughs> sociopath. Man, imagine if they actually came out with something like that. Golly. Anyways, yeah, let's check out Tweed Mysteries. Is this new? I feel like we already watched this. Let me just check real quick. But inside that tower that you've discovered is something of immense potential. Get inside. Find out what it is and bring it back. There's a huge reward waiting for you if you do. Good luck. Yeah, I already did that. I brought back the planetary seed, so that's good. So if I saw that, which one did I... Was it the welcome one? Personal? I don't know. I feel like, didn't we... He talked about like a meatball or something like that. Let's see what personal is. I need you to transmit this data directly to me, okay? I've already updated your transfer protocols. This needs to be our little secret for now. Oh yeah, we already watched that. Yeah, I, th I think we watched it whenever it like randomly popped up on the TV or something like that. So that's probably why it didn't mark it off as already being watched because I watched it on the TV randomly, right? My collectibles, what am I missing here? Am I missing, oh, I'm missing two, what? Apparently I'm missing two completely new things there and like a big blob thing there too. And another one of these boomerang guys. Anyways, yeah, uh, I guess I'll just end off this footage right here and we'll start looking forward to me finding random alien creatures, flora, etc. that I need to scan that I haven't scanned and maybe these last two points of interest and whatnot too. And if I come across them, I'll let you guys know. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm over here at the, uh, what's it called? The Capiena, like, arena or whatever that is over here. And yeah, it looks like there's a tree I didn't scan over here. So let's see what this is. This used to be a verdant forest. Before those mushrooms gentrified the place. Another oh, this is just a smoke spout. Okay. There's that Capiana down there. I kinda wanna just throw a blight bomb at it and see if that kills it, but a crappy old tree. Probably my least favorite we discovered on ARY26. Okay. <laughs> so with that one tree, how much progress did that actually give me? Because I was at like 90. Okay, so it seems like I need to just get eight more things, because I think we're at 91%. Scan that. Now we're at 92%. So we're slowly getting closer there, you guys. It seems like a, yeah, it seems like a second Capiana actually spawned in. So hold on, let me see. Can it just throw this at you or like going to get that didn't even do anything. It didn't even explode one of the tail tendrils. Oh wait, no, it killed that one though. So I guess that worked. <laughs> I don't know why it didn't work the first time though, but yeah, let me keep going around scanning things. And I'll let you guys know if I find anything. Oh hey, hold on. Before I go, looks like we found another thing. Giga shrooms. Oh, I'm getting killed though. <laughs> 
Is uh, Echo not going to say anything about the Giga Shrooms? Oh, wow. How in the world was I able to get both of those right there? That was crazy. A den of Capiennas has emerged into tangled roots of these giant shrooms. Yeah, you're telling me. I just killed two of them right here. <laughs> oh, man, you guys. I'm over here at that tree where you have these big old nuts or whatever they're called. And uh, there's one of these things right here. I guess we never scanned these things. Wait. Hold on. Wait, what? Hold on. Was I looking at the wrong thing? I was up here, and then I looked down here. Yeah, there we go. Why was I unable to scan it a second ago? I don't know what that dusty stuff is, but maybe don't breathe it. Yeah, don't breathe it, just like Deratoma breathing the atmosphere in general on this planet. I'm <laughs> becoming whatever he became. Bellow bulb. That's a spicy mushroom. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Uh, also over here, it looks like we have, because last episode we actually got an upgrade. Can I see it from here? I think I can. I think it's in the visor, isn't it? Uh, for alien artifact detector. Yeah, so now we can actually see alien artifacts with the scan, which is pretty cool. So it seems like there's one over here. And I do remember there was an area over here with like a tomato. I think it was the first time we came across those big falling tomato. Oh, yep, secret nearby. This is probably what I was talking about. But I remember there was a tomato like right here, wasn't there? And then, yeah, so we needed grapple seeds, but I only... I was only able to hold, like, either one or two or something like that. I, I wasn't able to hold enough to go over there, you know, and we didn't have, like, quadruple jump like we have here now, right? So, let's go over here now. Let's see where it goes. And it looks like it's going to take us to an alien... Now, alien artifact, does that mean... It's probably just... Yeah, you know what? Let's just jump over there. I don't need to grapple. See? <laughs> but alien artifact, does that mean explorer's log? Does it mean an... Uh, what do you call it? Oh, it is an enigmatic tablet. Oh, enigmatic tablet. There you go. It's like an ancient iPad or something like that. I detected encrypted video signal emanating from the structure. Okay, so that's going to be all of them here in the etching fields, right? Hold on, let me go check that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so we're at three out of three right now. So I need to get two more in the elevator realm and two more in the uh, within the spire. So that's good. Uh, maybe even over there we could actually find those last how many? Uh, Seven percent of things I need to survey all the planet. Oh man, jeez. Oh man, you guys. Okay, so I remember we had one of these boomerang guys that I didn't scan. Golly, at least I have a lot of health. But I need to scan him. Is he going to stand? Oh, oh wow. It like kind of tracks him whenever I try and scan him. So that's good. But golly, it's really hard to maybe since this is why I haven't heck and scan him because it's really tough. There we go. There we go. A bat and a boomerang made a baby. Okay, cool. So we got the feral whatever that guy was. I don't even know what he was called a second ago. But hey, at least we got him now. I wonder if there's any more critters I haven't scanned because that's the first one we haven't scanned in a while. And I assume everything else is just like plants and stuff like that. Yeah, creatures, 34 out of us. So we have one more predator and two more prey I need to scan. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't give me like a preview or like a who's that Pokemon looking thing. So I can't really tell like what it is. So that guy sucks. Uh, flora, if anything, I guess this helps a little bit. There's only four more plants I haven't scanned. So that's cool. All right, guys, are back. I'm in a random area here. You guys remember this is where we died one time with some lasers and whatnot. I guess I never scanned the lava that's down here. Hold on. What? Kylesy? Warning, a single touch means instant death. Okay. This is not even lava, it's like boiling, bubbling water, or whatever, or Kylesy, or whatever that actually is. So, hey, at least that helped me out. I don't even know. How does that even classify that? Is that a plant animal? I don't know. <laughs> oh, and by the way, there's one point of interest I haven't found yet Towering Statue Shattered Pod. And then there's still alien tech, too. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. I guess, is that K stuff that I just found? Is that alien tech? I don't think it is although you think it would be because we're in like an alien like puzzle area right now you know oh here's the planet seed let's let's read about it real quick just because we got it randomly and then just kind of put it in that machine and then called it a day right well here it is we finally acquired the final piece to our planet size puzzle this giant tower isn't just a tower it's a vessel for building entire worlds Ooh, interesting and i wonder if we have a video that actually like the guy from kindred actually explains what this is and how to use it perhaps maybe we'll get that whenever we actually leave the planet i don't know uh, anyways, let me keep looking around. Is there anything else that's going to be down here, though? Because I know it's going to activate lasers and whatnot. Or it should oh, yep, it's like, oh my gosh, it's activating lasers, like, right now. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I'm going to die down here again. Golly. My gosh, I'm dead. And this door over here is still closed, too, right? Yeah, it's a sealed door. I can't open it, so. <laughs> Whoops, I guess I'm heckin' stuck, and I'm going to die down here again, you guys. What, wait, what? Never mind, I guess it can't. Okay, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Can I actually make it out of here, though? There's no obvious exit or anything. Oh, wait. This actually opened. What the? How does that open? Okay. Wait, did I? Did it open because I 
came over here before the lasers hit the ground, perhaps? If so, it should open sooner, but at least I know how to get out of here. Now that's why this is here. Okay. Huh. Well, anyways, let me keep looking around here, and I'll let you guys know if I find anything else we haven't scanned before. Okay, you guys, I'm kind of surprised here. I guess we never got the slam Phibian, uh, slam whatever this... What even was this? Is this for this ability? I think it was, wasn't it? But, uh, scan this thing. I guess we never scanned it. Oh, I should be able to upgrade a reversal thrust for your jump pack so you can plummet downwards at horrific speeds, as if you hadn't fallen to your death enough times already. Hey, you know what? That's kind of weird because I could already do that. Blip. There we go. And yeah, she's kind of uh, foreshadowing, or, well, she would have been foreshadowing if I didn't get it, like, literally the last episode of this series. But, uh, yeah, of me uh, stomp boosting all the way down to my horrific death. <laughs> that one time, like, five episodes ago, right? Let me keep looking around. Actually, hold on. Let me do this. Ooh. Wow, holy heck, that's actually kind of close. How, how do I get down to there? Like, naturally. Oh, wait, hold on. I see barnacles down there, so... I guess we'll grapple see you down there, but... Uh, surely that's not the way to get down there originally. I think that might be the way to get out of there. But I don't know how to get down there normally, you know? Yeah, see, there's a barnacle thing right there. Yeah, secret nearby. If I do that, and then grapple seed onto that. Oh, my gosh! Oh! Oh, my gosh, it is a video or an enigmatic tablet just randomly on the side of this. What in the world? Well, I kind of see... Okay, I kind of see how you actually get down here normally. Without just falling down, right? But there you go. Oh, she's not even going to say anything. Okay. Uh, so that's 7 out of 10 right there. So how many are left in the elevator? Did we get them all in the elevator realm? We did not. There's one more in the elevator realm and, of course, two more inside the actual spire itself. So let me keep looking around here. Ooh, I found another one here, you guys. About the repaired teleporter. Seems like... Yeah, it seems like a lot of stuff is in that general area. I know previously there was something hidden in there, but... Oh, wait. Yeah, that does show us the... Uh, so that... I think that icon right there is the Explorer Notes, or Alien Explorer Log, whatever it's called, I don't know, but I'm almost second dead, I'm at like a quarter health, so, so you're nearby. I don't know if it's talking about that, but I don't want to get killed by these, like, groundhog guys. <laughs> yeah, 50, 80 meters away. By the way, is there anything, like, specifically here, or is this just like a... Oh my gosh, I think it is. Is this how you get... It is! I came over here just on a whim, because it looked like there's just a random platform here for no reason. But no. There's some of those crystals that you have to specifically shoot with the gun. And now we're in this secret area. What in the world? I, I feel like both of those are in here. I mean, like I said, I don't even know if we need to actually use these because we've got the, the quadruple jump now you go. But uh, I need to stay out of the lava. Oh, whatever this heckin' stuff is. Golly, I'm gonna die! Oh, did I scan this stuff before? Yeah, Ky Kyle Z. Yeah, a single touch that didn't kill me though, but it damaged me hardcore. <laughs> or I was already at health, anyways, but you guys know what I mean. So it seems like up there, that's where we need to go. There's plenty of metallic seed bags around here, too. To get us, uh. By the way, nothing there. Okay, so here's the en enigmatic tablet. I think there's an explorer's log here, too. Eight out of ten. We got them all here in the elevator realm. We just need to get the two more that are in the, uh, tower thing. Where do I go? Yeah, that looks like it might be in, like, just a regular area. I don't need to actually, like, go inside of a cave. Oh, what in the world? I missed! Uh, oh my gosh, I got it last second right there. That was crazy. Wait, hold on. It was out in the open this whole... Man! Oh, I'm getting electric! Ah! I don't know if there's any vitality plants around here, though. Oh, wait, no, it's not out in the, out in the wild. Or out in the open. It's kind of hidden over here. Where is it? It's on the other side of this. Ah, let's get rid of this guy. Because we can get rid of him anyways. Oh, wait! Wait, what? It's on the outer edge, huh? Wait, hold on. Do you go above and then drop down, or how do I get back there? Oh, use my quadruple jump. My okay, it looks like I could actually. Okay, it seems like I could, I could actually jump to there, but I don't think this is the legitimate way. Yeah, there you go. There's the amber. Let's get the blight bombs. Where in the world those are? There you are. But it doesn't seem like like it's like extremely hidden. Like you have to wrap around and stuff. But hey, at least we... Yeah, you don't fall from above. This is just extremely hidden, I guess. Why do I keep slapping him? I need to skin him. <laughs> there you go. What are we at right now? We're at... Yeah, three out of three for the enigmatic tablets here. Two out of two for the uh, Lost and Found Explorer. Yeah, the only things that we're missing. Two inside the spire and two inside the spire there. Okay. So I think we're going to go there now. I goes back. I'm in the... Uh, whatever this is called. The spire or whatever it's called. I just immediately got a notification saying, yeah, there's a secret nearby now. I don't think we ever discovered 
I think it was during the second floor, maybe even the third floor. Yeah, I think it was the second floor when we discovered, yeah, we could shoot some of these that are like broken like that or like cracked or Wait, hold on. Is that the secret already? It is. Oh my God. Yep. I didn't even scan yet. Man, that's awesome. But yeah, I wonder if there's any crew because there's a lot of, oh wow, there's another one over there too. Another one down there. Wow, man. Yeah, this upgrade is just cheating hardcore. But then again, it'd make it a lot harder if I didn't have this, right? Like I'd have like multiple episodes of me trying to find all these. Well, here we go. So we need to get one more of those, I think, right? And then two more enigmatic tab, enigmatic tablets. Golly, am I ever going to pronounce that correctly by the end of the episode? <laughs> by the end of the series? I don't know. Oh, yep. Another secret nearby now. Is it? Yes, it is. Okay. Enigmatic tablet, but it's all the way back there. Now, I know there was one area where it looked like there was something like I was able to crawl into or something like that previously, but yeah, how do I get into this? Yeah, there must be like an alternate entrance. Or oh, wait, yeah, like right there. I think it's like right there. Hold on. Was that the copy I was thinking about? Because it looks like it could crawl through that. Hold on. Let's see. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw that the first time we were here, but man, whenever you're up close, you can't really see it. You definitely want to kind of zoom out and get the big picture and then you can see it easier. But there you go. One of two enigmatic tablets we need. Yep. Nine out of ten. We just need one more. And I think it's like right below me, isn't it? Yep. 70 meters there. And there's the other note over there. So I think we have everything here, you guys. Let's do this and immediately see where we need to go. Okay, 50 meters there. Where do we, how do we get into there though? So, oh, oh yeah. Th okay, okay, I think this is the one that I thought about like crawling into. Yeah, not that first one, but is this another enigmatic tablet? Is this the, yep, I think this is the last one. I guess we'll go back to the ship and watch them all in order after this, huh? And boom, we got them all. Alien cinema complete. Awesome. Okay, well now we just need to get that last explorer note, and uh, I guess we'll be out of here. I don't know if there's going to be any plants, animals in here. I haven't Mid right does have heck and vile puke vomit, whatever that is. I don't know. <laughs> but from here, 69. Oh, hold on. I think up there. I think we need to go up there, and that's how we get to that. So we need to get up to that hook shot right there, and then just kind of jump over, I think. We do a big old launch and jump. Yeah, that's it. What in the world? We got them all. Lost and found, mission complete. Huh. And Echo, once again, doesn't even care. Doesn't even want to say anything. Doesn't even want to congratulate me or anything like that. Yeah, you know, dripping orifices all over the place. So, I guess I'll just drip down here. Now, is he still down here? Like, or, like, yeah, he's still down. Ugh. The heck? Can I see? I never scanned him. What? There you go. Teratomo. <laughs> wait, he's the last creature? I think he's the last creature. Because wasn't there. Oh, wait, no, there's still two more. Oh, well, he's the last predator, but there's still two prey, so what would they be? I am so surprised we never heckin' scanned him, but what does it say about him? Oh, hold on. An angry, greasy, festering blob of flesh, bone, and hate. Also, small hands. Okay, so, oh, well, his hands are right there. I see him. Look at that. They're not that small. They're actually as big as me, but maybe in relation to the rest of his body. Yeah, it's kind of small. <laughs> Let's go to Java. Actually, yeah, isn't there a thing on the computer that shows me, I guess I'll Look at it here in just a sec. Does Echo have anything to say now, or...? Nope, mini mall monkeys! Okay. <laughs> Nothing there! But I think there's like a thing here that like shows a bunch of different like... Uh, cards, like collectible cards or whatever. Maybe we can get a little outline, a uh, shadow, silhouette... Of whatever the last... Yeah, collectibles. So what What are these last... Yeah, these things. What are these? Because there's... It's two different variants of the same thing, and then there's Teratoma himself right there. What is that? It's got two things, two legs. I guess maybe I'll go back to the landing site. Maybe it's going to be down there, but it's crazy. We've gone through the entire game and I've never encountered whatever this is. It's crazy. Uh, let's go over to the video. Let's actually watch. Wait, not this one. Add puppet. Wedgie burger. We already saw that. MOBA, tweed, personal, blah, 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 mini wall monk. Okay, well, let's go to alien research. Oh, wait, transmission complete. Okay, cool. So we can actually watch the whole thing. Cool. So, and then we have log six, uh, seven, and then eight. And I guess we'll get all that story there done, <laughs> huh? I know it's transmission. Let's watch the whole thing. Oh, I got an achievement. The answer is 42. Yeah, so we're watching them all at once right now instead of just smaller one second clips. Then, yeah, there's all the different critters, except for the two I still haven't discovered. And then, yeah, there's like it's DNA or whatever, and they put it in those pods. And they launched them off the planet and onto the tower. Oh, then they launched the DNA into space. It's like panspermia or something like that. 
what are they doing? What is this? Oh, they're setting up base on another planet. Yeah, Panspermia. Exactly. There's the... Oh, those, the, those are the alien critters themselves right there. Then I guess the cycle just repeats, or... Oh, wait, no, the planet explodes. The old planet explodes. So this isn't their home planet, this is their new planet. Huh. Okay. So that was pretty interesting there, but I still have two critters I haven't discovered, and I don't even know... I don't know what they are, but anyways, let's go to Expedition Log 6, 7, and 8. Let's see what it says here. Uh, maybe this isn't fine, okay? <laughs> Teratomo here, just wishing the squirts were the worst of my problems. My sickness has taken some unexpected turns and twists. On one hand, the agonizing pain in my stomach has subsided. I mean, yay, that's definitely a win. But my new problem has been the appearance of some, uh, very unique, uh, very physical mutations. Yeah, all those boils we saw over his body, right? Golly. My stomach has exploded, my neck is covered in boils and pushulent cysts, and one of them has sprouted what looks to be a tooth. That expired Zoxaletti must have been really off. <laughs> I've arrived at the entrance of the tower. The ship's too far back now, so my only option is to press on and hope that these symptoms subside. Honestly, I wouldn't go back if I could. Something about the tower on some strange level is calling to me. I know, that's number six. Let's see what number seven is, as his heckin' symptoms keep getting worse and worse. Let's see what happens next. Finally, after hours and hours of climbing, I've made it into the tower. My heart is racing, and I am sweating profusely, and my vision has become blurred. My emerging physical abnormalities have also advanced significantly. My stomach has expanded, I'd say, about double its size. The tooth in my neck? Yeah, uh, now let's just say it's teeth in my neck. Uh, worst of all, I could feel a thick, sharp hairs growing out of my back, so sharp that they're tearing holes through my suit, which is actually nice because it's letting out a lot of the massive quantities of pus I'm producing. Needless to say, I'm concerned. Despite all of this, all of the strange physiological mutations and discomfort, I feel an overwhelming sense of optimism and peace. Being here, I feel like I'm safe, like this is where I'm meant to be, like I'm home. I've probably gone insane. It happens. <laughs> now, it says something else, but I can't scroll. Or at least it looks like, like there's like a little bit more right there. Is it going to be part of uh, number eight or what? I don't know. But it's not letting me scroll, so that kind of sucks. So, I do this. Yeah, it's not, it's not letting me uh, do anything there. So, let's go to number eight. Yeah, I guess it's just continuation. And I got another achievement. Uh, who is Teratoma? I guess we're going to find out right here, right? I mean, we already know, but still. <laughs> it's magnificent. Just incredible. It's everything I've ever wanted. And... I had no idea until now. These mutations, they're a blessing, not a curse. I was brought here for a higher purpose, to transcend mere zoxaloid flesh and bone and become more, so much more. I can no longer move. My legs are gone. My size has ballooned tenfold. I can feel my mind slowly slipping away. It's clear that I will not be leaving this basement. And yet, there is nowhere else in the universe I would want to be, alone with the sea, forever. And it's mine. All mine. It's all mine now, Teratone, because you're heckin' mad. <laughs> yeah, he had it like on his tongue, like hiding in his tongue and stuff, dude. Golly, it's gross. But there you go, you guys. We read all the stuff right there. Anything special going to happen now or what? Anything new here? This is just going to be like mini mall monkeys or something. I don't know. Let's see. Play video. Grob. Okay. <laughs> uh, videos. Is there anything new here? Yeah. We've seen Grob. Why does I have a thing next to it saying I haven't seen it yet? Is there anything? Blob line? MOBA? That's the uh, MOBA, 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 MOBA thing, right? Brain white. Yeah, we saw that during the uh, the footage you guys saw earlier. Blob line. Let's see what this one is. Oh, gosh. Want to talk to some of the hottest slime forums in the galaxy? <laughs> the most seductive soft bodies in space for a discreet and nebulous encounter. No bones. Nothing. Hey, a fidget spinner. 1-900-blob-love. Just 2,500 for the first minute and 42,000 for each additional minute. Call the blob line now. Additional transplantational rates of blob. Must be over 622 Zeneps. 622 Zeneps? How old is that supposed to be? I don't know. <laughs> but I think we've watched everything else, but yeah. We've seen this a thousand times, but I'm going to click on them anyways, just in case we get something. By at least watching them all, right? Mini Mall Monkeys! Moba, 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 Moba! Moba VR! And then Wedge Burger. 
There you go. <laughs> okay, I'm glad he exited out of that in time. Yeah, we're at 95%. It really sucks because there's 10 things left. One point of interest, wherever that is. I don't know. Alien tech? One alien tech? I don't know where this is. Uh, there's two creatures. I don't know what they are, but they're prey. Yeah. And then, yeah, that, that, that'll that be it. Yeah, one alien tech, two prey, uh, three flora, apparently. I don't know what that would be. But yeah, I, I might look this up real quick just because we're so close, 95%. You know what? I hate to I hate to leave the planet and they're still we're this close. You know, if we're at like 60 something percent, maybe I'd leave. But we're at 95%. So let, let me just look it up. I found 95% of the stuff on my own. Anyways, that's that's close enough for sake of wrapping everything up with a bow and finishing everything here. Let me look up these last 10 things real quick and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Oh, wow, you guys. I, I haven't looked it up just yet. I've just been looking around the uh, landing zone. Apparently, yeah. Is this? Rectangular prisms. Wee! Wee! <laughs> Runic alien bricks. Is that? Hold on. I know that would be point of... Yeah, that's the... Man. Okay, at least I got all the points of interest legitimately then. Uh, so that's cool. But what could the last prey be? All right, you guys are back, and yep, I knew it. Uh, I'd have to come back here at the very beginning, because of course there's one right here at the very beginning. Apparently, there's this giant spore right here. These remains are a hell of a lot older than anything else we found on this planet. Yeah, what? I, I have a feeling that I scanned this, but maybe I scanned like its rib cage or something like that. But hey, at least we got it, right? Oh, here we go. Just in case killing the adults wasn't sadistic enough. Wait. I never scanned the puffer bird nest? I guess not. Okay, that's kind of crazy, but I didn't look that up. I was just walking around over here to see if there's anything else I missed then. Yep, surely enough. Yeah, it must have been because it was so early in the game that I just wasn't used to scanning everything yet, you know? Oh wow, there's actually just one more uh, flora I haven't gotten yet. Cool. And still need to get the two prey. Don't know where we're going to find that, but maybe a little bit later. Maybe I'll even look it up. Who knows? I guess we'll see. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Apparently the prey- what in the world? Apparently the prey have something to do with this. Yeah, the burgle haven. Safe haven for burgle snatchers to store their ill-gotten gains. So I'm supposed to like lure them out by doing something. I don't know. I guess we'll try bait. I haven't had to do this yet. Well, yeah, I was bringing the puffer bird over, but the burgle snatch thing isn't coming out. Like I always assumed that these were where the puffer birds like hung out in, but I guess not. God, Lee, you don't have to really do that right in front of me. <laughs> so, is there a drop? Oh, oh, right there, right there. It's appeared and seems to really love shiny things. Oh my God. Oh, he, oh okay. That's why I've never seen him before. Because he likes the shiny stuff, just like the, the Osmotic Cube, huh? But why'd he come out right there? I don't know, but at least we got him there. So I know where we could find another one. It's over in the itchy, itchy fields or whatever it's called. So I guess we'll go back over there and then we'll try and lure one out or just wait until one comes out and I guess we get both prey there, huh? So that's good. Let's see our progress now. We're at 97%, only six missing. Oh, uh, actually five missing after this. Okay, well the puffer birds are farting right now. That should be the resources that the whatever's inside of here crave I'm on top of one right now, just in case it comes over here and it gets like really spooked by my presence, but I don't see him. Oh wait, there he is. Scan him. There we go. We got them all! Zawala just uh, achievement right there. Cool! Awesome! Oh my gosh, you guys, are you kidding me? How have I never scanned the heckin' teleporter? What? This machine will copy you into its memory, delete your body, and then print a copy of it five feet away. Okay, is there anything a cartographer deployment hatch? I am actually very surprised, but that actually explains a lot, like how we have missing Kintec stuff, right? Hold on, yeah, so now we're at 25 out of 27. There's still only two more left. Cartographers, I don't know what it would be. All right, so it seems like one of them is down here, the Jelly Waft Pit. Is this it? Is this actually a location I haven't scanned or a flora or whatever? Oh my gosh, I have to scan the water? I wouldn't step in it if I were you. Hey, there you go. So I got the botanist achievement right there. Okay, so that means, yeah, we got all the flora, we got all the fauna. Now we got the uh, zoologist achievement just a minute ago. So that's cool. Now we're at 98%. We need to get three more. And I know of two of them, I think I missed out on just by reading some forums and whatnot. Did I take damage right there? I shouldn't have, but there you go. Bomb grant time. And more damage. There you go. Noise. This should actually kill me here, right? 
Wow, that didn't kill me. How do I have no health, but I'm not dead? What? <laughs> All right, I'm right next to the teleporter. But oh no, I died. Oh. Goodbye, and thank you for your service. All right, let's go outside. Let's go see. Let's go scan my stuff. Go scan my dead body and bury it and whatnot. Ambient temperature 81 degrees. Biosigns nominal. Hey, yeah, I, I never scanned my dead body. So <laughs> there we go. So yes, this is your body. I suggest not staring too long. Might help to avoid a complete existential meltdown. I just got an achievement. It's not me, but it's still me or something like that. Your sad, lifeless body. Don't think about it. Okay. Now, how's it supposed to be a dog? It doesn't look like a dog. It... Am I sucking on my thumb? Looks like I'm sucking on my thumb. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I don't know why my, uh... Oh, yeah, I'll still give me hints for some treasure. That's kind of crazy. Uh, I don't know why my bag went all the way... Oh, wow, it's right here. Yeah, I never scanned that either. Yeah, that's another one. So there's only one after this. Resources backup uh, storage. Last guy died and dropped his crap. Now it's your crap. I can't scrap it. There you go. So now we're at 99%, right? Or, yeah, 99. So we just need to get one more thing. And I have an idea of what it might be, but it, I don't know if I'm able to get it. There we go. Can I fall into that and actually scan the uh, platform? Oh, yes, I can scan it. This is it. This is the last thing. Scan it. We got it. Fascinating. Kindred scientists are already excitedly pouring over the data you have gathered. As a small thank you and to aid in your endeavors, they have also updated the available blueprints at the habitat. So what happens if I fall into that? Like I've got a few light balls. Oh! New messages are waiting for you at the javelin. Okay. I'm like this filled up with lava. Well, I guess if anything, yeah, I could just boost out of here, right? Oh yeah, and there's staircase. Okay. So maybe they actually smartly designed the game in case some dumb just jumps into here after us. Oh yeah, there's lava down there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's cool. So at least they thought of people like me who never thought to scan these second platforms right here. I'm like, it, it all happens so fast, you don't you don't really think about scanning them, right? But man, I it feels great. We got everything, you guys. We finished up all the missions. Now we we can hang back to Earth and Yeah, look at that boom. All we have to do is just round trip. Go back to uh, to the javelin, and then it's already fully refueled. It's got plenty of fuel. It's got way too much fuel, actually. <laughs> but as we heard right there, uh, Echo just said, yeah, we have some videos. So probably uh, whatever his name is, I always forget it. I don't even know if I ever even said his name before in the series. But the crazy guy, I guess he has a video for us. Kindred Aerospace. <laughs> I love animals. On our journey across the stars, we've seen so many. Some dangerous, some exotic, and some just unusual. I think those are real. Are those real or CGI? This short video is to congratulate you on the successful survey of your planet. With this data, Kindred will be able to grow its database of possible planets in order to choose the best locations. Animals can be a threat. Yeah, tell me. Oh, is that a poop fish above you? Mm. Oh, don't put that, don't eat that. But they can also represent opportunities. Wow, look over here. Look at all those funky animals. I love all these animals. I'm an animal lover, so thank you. From the depths of our hearts for your fastidious completion of our stated goal. As an added bonus, we'll be naming one of the creatures you've discovered after you. So stay safe and get home soon. <laughs> it's just a flying fish. Kindred Aerospace. And I think that's it. Right, let's go to the cockpit and let's leave. Let's relaunch the javelin. Let's finally go. I just got an achievement. Home at last. Wow, my my leg is stuck. What happened? Okay. And we've got a bobblehead of that tweed guy. <laughs> Another video. Kindred Aerospace. Congratulations. You surveyed the planet and survived. We here at Kindred cannot thank you enough. Your planet has been added to our database, and moving forward, it will become a full candidate in the future settlement of humanity. We have already discovered many the potentially suitable options, but there can never be enough. Uh-oh, what happened? Incoming message. Let's not overstate it. What you have done is miraculous. You've not merely discovered a home for life, 
You have discovered life itself. A technology far beyond my greatest expectations. The seed you have discovered contains an entire planetary ecosystem worth of genetic data, along with systems and, and mechanisms for creating complete functioning bio. Yeah, we saw that in that enigmatic tablet video. Kindred must change direction. Why would we choose a new home for humanity from existing planets when we can simply... <laughs> this will be your next task, Explorer. Creating a world! <laughs> now, is that what the hot garbage DLC is? <laughs> okay, you don't have to laugh that evilly, you know. <laughs> What the world's he doing? He's going through a portal or something? <laughs> the heck? Oh, another. This is another credits? Congratulations! You completed your survey of ARY26 and recovered the planet seed. You remain uncertain as to Kindred's future plans. But as you drift off in your hypersleep chamber, you imagine a world of prosperity, fueled by your discovery, where humanity can create its own paradise on demand. What could go wrong? Oh, then we get to see the credits again. Okay, cool. Well, anyways, Typhoon Studio. I don't know if I actually show the full on credits. Sometimes I show the full credits. I know I skipped a lot of it last time, but I don't know how long this video is after, you know, recording 1500 little clips of me getting every last thing, but I think we've already seen this here. I think it's the same song too, so I guess we could skip it. I wonder what happens. Is there a post credits scene or? Anything or Oh no, it just takes me back to the main menu, yeah. There we go, you guys. We beat Journey to the Savage Planet, and not only beat it, but it got a hundred percent on it and return back to Earth, I guess safely? I don't know. What happens if we go back into the game though? 60 wow, just a tick under 17 hours. That's crazy. 100 percent main game right there. See what happens. Like are they going to be like, why are you waking back up? Why why are you back on the planet? Aren't you I thought you left. <laughs> Let's see. Can I actually leave again or Hey, Wedgie Burger! Yeah, I, I guess I could relaunch the Javelin again, okay. Well, at least they let you just keep exploring the planet if you want to, so that's cool. Uh, I guess I could have relaunched the Javelin like five episodes ago or whatever, and then came back and finished it 100% and all that kind of stuff, but... At least we did it now, but there you go, 100% progress, 196 out of 196. If you guys have any questions on what is what, then hey, here you go, here's the full list right here, here's the Predators, here's the Prey and whatnot. Man, I even had to look it up myself, so I don't blame you guys if you're over here looking up and trying to figure out what is what, what you're missing and where it is and whatnot. But uh, there you go. So anyways, I guess we'll just start ending off the episode right here. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And when you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Journey to the Savage Planet comes out so you don't miss it. Even though this is going to be the last episode of the main series, remember we still have that DLC hot garbage to look forward to, so I'm very curious to see what that's going to be about. Are we going to like take that planet seed and like you know, replicate life on another planet or what? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So until then, thank you guys all very much for watching and I'll see you guys here next time with some more awesome videos. Oh, bye there.